All right, in this uh, video, I'm going to demonstrate how to take a, a QuickTime video that, you, uh, that I had uh, downloaded off my iPhone and saved it to my PC. And then uh, I wanted to um, now want to bring the, the, the QuickTime files back. Uh, uh, some of them were disjointed. Uh, and so I wanted to join them to, together again. And so they're in uh, with the, the iOS uh, 13, the, um, there's some new capabilities built into, uh, the iOS that, uh, allows you to, uh, bring, uh, the video files back into your. Uh, iPad, for example, and uh, that's what I'll be using. You can do similar with the iPhone, but the uh, doing it with the iPad, I have a, an adapter here. You can buy this on Amazon. Um, it has uh, the ports there, USB and a, a flash card port. So I have that in there, and it also has a, a place for uh, to put the power on to it as well. So I've got the the uh, this attached to the iPad um, using the mouse, which is kind of handy. Um, so uh, you have uh, the file program here, and if you launch that, you can go to the. In this case, it's the EOS Digital. That's when I plug that in. If I unplug that, it uh, disappears. Plug it back in. And it should reappear. So once it reads it, there it is. And so on this, I have the the files that I want to use are in here. So uh, there are the files, and uh, I'm going to take these four files here and make a QuickTime movie using that. So. Um, it's also uh, in this file program, if your uh, video is for, uh, it's in a portrait position, you can uh, use the uh, filing program to uh, change its, uh, to uh, a landscape. So uh, I'm gonna go to the um, iMovie, and using iMovie, you, uh, you, first you want to uh, you create a project, Select movie, and then create movie. Now, if the videos are already on your um, device, then you can just choose it from there. But since I'm going to be picking them right off of the um, the flash drive here, and so we'll uh, go in here and. Find the location of that. So we'll browse and we'll go to the EOS digital. Go to DCIM. Then the this folder. All right, now there's the files. Uh, by the way, if you do this using the uh, going through the import mode, which you can do, you can mode uh, use import in. Um, but the, the file format uh, just shows that it's an MOV file. It doesn't give you any uh, display of what the file is. So you have no idea what it is that you're, you're choosing. So, but in this case, uh, which is kind of neat, is that you can uh, actually pick it up off of the, uh, off the uh, card reader and that's plugged into your device. Um, you choose the file, it will then copy the media like so, it's gonna copy it there. All right, there's one. So I wanna add the next one. And it will copy it. And then you add 
this movie like so. And then uh, you're going to you want to continue adding these other media pieces there in there that I spiced. And I did these these uh, video clips. And um, now I want to join them together. So I'll get this one. And add the movie. And it automatically sticks it in there like that. Back there and get the final clip. Okay, and then add that to the movie. All right, so I've got all four clips in there. So I can just click done. And my project is ready. So I'm going to go ahead and now you can save it, the video directly to your iPad. Um, you can, or you can save it to files. And so I'm going to save it to files. Okay, so it's uh, now finished uh, exporting that or saving the file to the uh, flash drive. At this point, you can rename the file. So I'm going to rename it. And um, just call it, I'll just call it file for now. And then you can do a save and it will save it to the folder. Right. So this movie is uh, finished. So it'll just go over here back to our file program and let's find the program that we called or the video we called file and there it is. It's pretty big. It's one gig. Um, in size so now if we uh, we can play the and there it is so it works I go back to my move to the iMovie and we can now delete the project and that's that. So that's how you can uh, take and, and take a video, a QuickTime video, and uh, that you've already downloaded to your computer, and you want to go back and make changes to it. You can just simply put the this adapter here and put the card in there and take it. Now I can take the card out that I've finished and take that and put that in my PC and uh, load it into my other files. And that's all you have to do.